today on my channel I'm going to be doing a Q&A because I've been asked so much as of lately if I would do another one. I haven't done a QA, and a I think since like summer or like the beginning of fall so it's been quite a long time since I've answered some questions for you guys. So I'm going to be doing that today. I asked you guys for questions on my Twitter and my Instagram so if you're not following me on those social medias then that's probably why you didn't see that I was doing a Q&A and you couldn't ask me something. So to prevent that in the future you should go follow me on both my Instagram and Twitter. They're both at lovely like Laura and I'm always tweeting on there I'm always interacting with you guys so if you didn't have a chance to ask a question in today's Q&A you can always just go ask me the question like on Twitter and I'll just answer you so yeah but I'm gonna get to the questions I think I'm gonna start with the Instagram questions and then move on through the Twitter ones but yeah let's just get started first question that I see here is how do you manage reading books while you are in college and this is a pretty interesting question because I started college in the fall as some of you guys may know and I've really been lacking in the reading department. <laughs> um, I've been really focused on my studies and on work as of lately and trying to do YouTube videos so it's left very little room for actually reading on my free time and like there's so many books that I really want to read and that I'm super interested to pick up and obviously I've done hauls so I've been buying books but I haven't really been reading much. I am currently reading Dimly or the third book in the Dimly series I guess. Did I mention I Miss You? by Estelle Mascom and I'm like almost done with it but I don't know I've read like less than 10 books since starting college so I guess my advice to you is just like if you really want to read just try and set aside some time like if there's a time that you have to watch TV or to watch videos or something instead read during that time just kind of make little decisions that you know will make it so that you have time to read instead of doing something else and just choose your time time management I guess so yeah I need to work on that myself though next question is what is your favorite song at the moment I love you and your videos by the way I love you too um, my favorite song at the moment lately I've been listening to a lot of BB Rexa her new EP just came out called all your fault and there's like five songs six songs or something like that on the EP and I love all of them they're so great I absolutely love her and I'm actually seeing her in concert uh, I think next week so that's really exciting but I've been really listening to that album a ton lately and I highly highly recommend it if you're a fan of her so yeah I would check that out I really like it um have you read anything by Cassandra Clare I have tried to start the Mortal Instruments series so many times I've started City of Bones like three times I've read a couple chapters and I just have not been able to get into it I don't know what it is I know so many people are such big fans of her and her series and even my brother is like a huge fan of that series and I just haven't been able to get into it I don't know I really want to because I want to like be a part of it on YouTube I know so many people are obsessed with it so I don't know maybe someday I will actually finish one of her books but who knows what is your favorite lipstick color that's a good question um, I'm a really big fan of all of Kylie's um, lipsticks I know some people don't really like them but I'm a fan of them the matte ones and I'm also a really big fan of Mac lipsticks what I'm wearing right now is honey love lipstick from Mac with damn Gina gloss by Kylie which I've been really liking lately um I'm trying to think there's other MAC lipsticks that I really like my go-to is just really any color that's like a light nudie pink color so I guess that's kind of my favorite if you could go to any concert which concert would it be and why it's a really good question um who would I want to go see I've seen a lot of people you guys may or may not know I'm like a concert junkie it's all I'm about um I go to like 10 a year I'm obsessed so there's a lot of people that like I've wanted to see and I got to see them. One person that I would absolutely love to see in concert though that I have not seen yet is John Mayer who's been one of my favorite singers since I was really young and I absolutely love his music so much and he's such an amazing vocalist and guitarist so I would absolutely love to see him live. I would like die. <laughs> do you enjoy English classes and writing essays or just reading for fun? Um, I think I definitely do enjoy English classes and doing essays and writing and stuff like that. I am an English major so I'm all about those English English classes and essay writing and all that kind of stuff so yeah I definitely do enjoy it it's something that I want to pursue obviously and hopefully one day work in the publishing industry so I'm pretty into writing and reading and doing all kinds of stuff even if it's not like for fun next question is what is your favorite book by Sarah Dessen they wrote dead in but I think I think they meant Dessen hmm, my favorite Sarah Dessen book is probably either Saint Anything or The Truth About Forever I just got her new book in the mail that's coming out in June I got an arc of it and I'm so excited to read it I'm definitely gonna be reviewing it for you guys so look up for that if you are a Sarah Dessen fan but yeah both of those books I really really like okay I'm gonna move on to Twitter questions now because I did get a ton on there so let's see what those are a lot of people are asking me what my favorite makeup brand is 
Um, I really like Urban Decay for like eye makeup. I use like all the Naked palettes and Too Faced for eyes. Um, my favorite lip products are either Kylie Cosmetics or MAC like I said before. And then I just kind of use like a whole bunch of different stuff. I don't really know. Like I have so much makeup to choose from and I just kind of use an array of like all of the brands. So yeah. Somebody asked me who is my favorite character from Full House which I just thought was a funny question and it would probably be DJ. One question I've also been getting a lot is if I'm going to be doing a bookshelf tour anytime soon and the thing with that is that I've changed my bookshelf around completely like since the last bookshelf tour that I did I think during the summer last year or even the year before I don't remember um, my bookshelf was in a completely different area it was completely different and obviously I've gotten a lot more books since I did that video but because of that my bookshelf stayed the same size and my book collection got bigger so I currently have like bins of books in my my closet right there so I don't have them all like set up right now so until I get more bookshelf space I don't want to do a bookshelf tour because it'll be lacking like a third of my collection because I have books everywhere in my room because they don't fit on my shelf so until I can figure that whole situation out I won't be doing a bookshelf tour but I really want to do an updated one for you guys because I know you guys want to see it so hopefully I will get around to that soon maybe this summer. And Taylor of Taylicious Reads, love her, asked me two things. She asked me if I'm going to VidCon this year and how does one become lovely like Laura which I just thought was so funny. Um, about VidCon, I'm not going to VidCon this year. I'm possibly going to BookCon. So if you're going to BookCon, let me know down below. I'm super excited. Um, I've kind of made like a last minute decision to possibly go. So I will be confirming that on Twitter. So check me out on there if you're interested on if I'm really going. I'm pretty sure I am, but you never know. But yes, Cassie, Miss Sassy Cassie asked me, what are some things that I like to do that aren't YouTube or book related? Um, one thing that you guys may or may not know is I'm really into cooking and like making meals and doing all that kind of stuff so that's really fun for me um, I'm really into like TV and movies and hanging out with my friends like I'm just like a really chill person like I'm just down to do whatever all the time and I'm just always hanging out like I'm not like into anything like crazy like I like rock climbing in my spare time and skydiving like I'm not really like that but I just like hanging out you know somebody asked me do I have any tattoos and is there any tattoos that I want in the future um I do not have any tattoos actually when I was younger I used to think like on my 18th birthday I'm gonna go get a tattoo that day and I'm gonna get this and whatever and now I'm turning 20 this year and and I don't have any tattoos and I'm just kind of like eh. like I might want a tattoo someday and I think I do but I'm not really like rushing out to go get one anytime soon so yeah I guess we'll see if anything I do really want to get one that reflects something bookish and yeah I don't know somebody asked me if I have a snapchat and I actually do not have a snapchat that's public for like my YouTube friends so if you guys do want me to make a snapchat I know I've asked you that before but just really tell me down below so that I'll actually go out and make one because I will I think it would be fun to have one and interact with you guys on there so definitely let me know down below if you think I should make a snapchat somebody asked what's an automatic turnoff when meeting new people um, definitely people that are closed-minded and just like so into their own opinions that they won't even like listen to what you're saying and just in general people that are hateful towards others and just aren't like kind spirited I just really don't get along with people like that and it really bothers me because I just like to be nice to everybody um, so yeah definitely people that are like that I just don't really get along with Somebody asked me if I accept books to review from self-published or indie authors and yes I do sometimes. I do have my email down below so if you are a self-published author you're looking to send me your book um, you can contact me through there but I don't always accept them. It really depends on the premise of the book and if it's something that I think my audience and I would enjoy so a lot of the times I say no but there is a small percentage of times where I will accept books from independent authors and I have in the past so yes definitely reach out to me down below if that is your case. Somebody asked what is my favorite book to movie adaptation and I think I've answered this before but I think I would have to say it is the perks of being a wallflower. While the movie and the book are very different from one another I'm absolutely obsessed with both and that movie just gets me in the feels every time. I absolutely love it. If you've not seen it or read the book I highly highly recommend. Okay my camera is actually dying so I think we have time to answer possibly one more question so I'm gonna do this one. It's what is a goal of yours that you would like to accomplish this year and big goal of mine 
mine is just to expand my YouTube channel and do more with it. I feel like I've just really been stuck in this box of only doing book related videos lately and just kind of restricting the type of videos that I put out and stuff like that. And I really want to expand, do more stuff with my channel, post more regularly, interact with you guys more, just everything revolving around my YouTube channel. I want to do better with so that's definitely a big goal of mine this year and I hope that I succeed okay guys so I think that's going to be it for the questions in today's Q&A if I did not answer your question I'm so sorry but you can feel free to tweet me again and maybe I will answer you directly but other than that I hope you guys enjoyed this Q&A if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you've not already thank you guys so so much for watching and I'll talk to you all in my next video bye I said it's not that easy it's to rock a